What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. This is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. So we get a lot of questions from viewers and subscribers. And most of the questions are how to increase internet speed. They often ask, is there a magic cable or a magic setting that can increase your internet speed? And regarding cables, I always say use Cat6a to get maximum speed and bandwidth. But as far as a magic setting, there is one setting you can change that can make a difference. And this setting is your wireless router. I've gone over this setting before in a video right here, Home Network Basics for Beginners. So make sure to check that out later. It's a great video. But the setting I'm referring to is the MTU setting. So first, let's go into the router and take a look at the MTU setting. I'll explain what it is, and then I'm gonna show you how to change those settings to maximize your internet speed. And trust me, this does work. So let's get started. All right, first thing you wanna do is go into your router settings. If you're not sure how to do this, then check out this video. Now go to connectivity and internet settings. And here's the MTU setting. My MTU is set at 1470. And there's two options with the MTU setting. There's manual and there's auto. And to optimize your MTU setting, it needs to be manual. And before we change the MTU setting, let's talk about what it is and how to get the correct MTU size for your devices. Then we can go back in the router and change it. So what does MTU stand for? It stands for Maximum Transmission Unit. This represents the largest data packet that your network device will accept. And MTU is measured in bytes. And 1500 bytes is the maximum MTU size. So any packet over 1500 bytes will get fragmented into smaller segments. And fragmentation adds a small degree of latency and inefficiency to network communications. So this should be avoided if possible. So by dialing in this number correctly, we're gonna get the largest data packet possible for our network device. So the question is, how do we determine the correct MTU size? Well, let me show you. So now on your computer, go to command prompt. We're gonna do a ping test. For this example, we'll ping Yahoo. So type in ping space yahoo.com space minus F space minus L and type in 2000. And we immediately get a message. Packets need to be fragmented. And since any number over 1500 bytes will get fragmented, let's start our test at 1440. And we're getting replies with no fragments. So now type in 1480. And packets are fragmented at 1480. Now let's go ahead and try 1470. And we're getting all replies, no fragments. Now let's try 1475 and packets need to be fragmented. Now let's try 1472, and we're getting replies, no fragments. And now let's go ahead and try 1473, and packets need to be fragmented. So we found our sweet spot. We found the largest number possible without fragmentation, 1472. And one more thing you should be aware of, the TCP and IP headers, make up a total of 28 bytes. So 1472 plus 28 is what? You guessed it, 1500. So now let's go back to the router and set our MTU setting. So go back to internet settings, change MTU from auto to manual, and type in your number, and then hit apply. And there's a good possibility that your number could be 1470 or 1465, or it could be the same as mine. But just know one thing, by maximizing your MTU setting, you're gonna get the largest data packets possible, which prevents latency and inefficiency, thus making the internet faster. And faster internet is more better. So if you want faster speeds and you haven't changed your MTU settings, then follow my steps to get the perfect MTU size. And I'm gonna give you one more bonus tip. Get yourself a Cat6a cable and connect it from the modem to your router. Cat6a provides high speeds and high bandwidth, and Cat6a can handle up to 10 gig. So this cable guarantees the fastest connection. So guys, if you liked this video and you found it helpful, make sure to give a thumbs up and share it. And if you love networking like I love networking, then check out all our videos on our channel. We currently have over 60 videos just on networking alone. And once again, I wanna thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.